Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of introduction to Selenium, I'm going to explain the list of different predict sites that are required for learning Selenium. In order to learn Selenium, we should have some predict site knowledge of different things. What are they? Okay, before you start learning Selenium, you should have the knowledge of different stuff that I'm going to show you in this session. So here are the stuff guys, okay? So let me expand in a different way. So these are the things at a high level guys that you need to learn before learning Selenium. Without learning this, if you are learning Selenium, it will be difficult for you, okay, to understand Selenium. So what are those different pre sites? They are nothing but web technologies, software testing basics, locators, and programming language, okay? So coming to the web technologies, Okay, coming to the web technologies, we should have the knowledge of HTML, not complete HTML guys, HTML basics will be enough, okay? HTML basics. Here, CSS is also not complete, CSS basics are enough, okay? So you don't have to, you know, completely, because HTML, CSS again is a very uh, big uh, topic, okay? You cannot uh, learn so much of things, okay? So that will deviate your learning journey. So having some basic knowledge of HTML, CSS will be enough for learning Selenium guys, okay, for Selenium, okay. So before you start learning Selenium, you should have the basic HTML knowledge. You should have the basic CSS knowledge. You should have the basic JavaScript knowledge. You should have the basic, all things are basic only guys, don't learn in depth. Basic DOM knowledge, basic XML knowledge, basic SQL statement knowledge, okay, statements knowledge. Okay, so database SQL, this is, okay. So these are the different web technologies you should have the basic knowledge of, that is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, DOM, XML, and SQL. So here, let me write down again. The first predict site that is required for learning Selenium, before we learn Selenium, the knowledge we should have is, the predict site knowledge we should have is web basics, okay? Web basics or web technologies, different web technology basics we should have. What are the different web technologies we have? We should have the knowledge of for learning Selenium, HTML basics, CSS basics. These are very simple to understand guys. When the time comes, I'll, I'll explain all this stuff before we start learning Selenium and all, right? This will be covered for you in the upcoming sessions. Okay, then what else we should have? JavaScript, JavaScript basics. Uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot say that you have to learn, okay? JavaScript just before learning Selenium. During the process of you, while you start learning Selenium and between whenever JavaScript is required, right? Before the topics comes, I'm going to cover JavaScript. But HTML, CSS, you have to have the knowledge in advance before you start learning Selenium. But coming to JavaScript, uh, you can postpone it, guys. You don't have to learn the JavaScript before Selenium. So while the Selenium topics are going on, when a particular topics related to uh, a particular topic of Selenium that demands the knowledge of JavaScript comes, right? Then I'll cover that, okay? So, so why to deviate you? So this is the process I follow. DOM, document object model. The DOM is generally used with JavaScript, guys, okay? For the purpose of, uh, along with the JavaScript, I'm going to cover DOM, okay? So then uh, XML, XML is also same, guys, okay? You don't have to learn XML in advance uh, to Selenium, okay? So while, while the Selenium, uh, training, uh, uh, learning is going on while the Selenium learning is going on. Whenever the topics from Selenium, which demands the knowledge of XML comes up before that, I'll explain XML for you that, that to XML, not complete XML guys, XML basics only I'll cover. Okay. That basic knowledge is enough. Okay. All this technology, basic knowledge is enough. Okay. Then, uh, what else we have SQL, even SQL also same thing guys, like, uh, JavaScript, DOM, XML and SQL, they are required only when a particular topic, uh, particular topic or topics in Selenium learning demands them, okay? So, but this HTML and CSS, you have to learn in advance, guys, okay? This HTML and CSS, you have to learn in advance before the Selenium starts. Fine. Then what else we have, okay? So, these are the different web technologies, guys. Then uh, the other thing we have is a software testing basics. You see, why we have gone for automation, why automation testing is required, Okay, to understand that we should have the basic software testing knowledge also, okay? Software testing basic knowledge is also required, guys, okay? So apart from this, we should have uh, why testing and all that basic knowledge of software testing is required. Software testing, basic, uh, not completely, but what exactly testing is enough, okay? 
it's not even basics guys okay just uh, the information like why we have to do testing that is enough guys you don't have to have the knowledge of math uh software testing to you know start selling you can do that parallelly okay if you are the one who is learning software testing parallelly and uh test automation parallelly using python selenium python or any other programming language that's fine okay you can do it parallelly uh but uh at least uh, you should have the basic software testing, basic uh, high level knowledge, like why we have to do testing and all. Okay. At a very high level, you should know what exactly is the purpose of testing. Okay. If you know the purpose of testing and how we do test, how we perform testing, that is enough, guys. Okay. That is enough for understanding why we have to go for test automation. Okay. That I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions, anyhow. Then locators, guys. The other one is locators, guys. Okay. So I'll not cover these locators now. I'll not explain what are locators and all now, but these locators are required. To understand locators, uh, we should have the knowledge of this HTML and CSS. Guys. Without having the knowledge of HTML and CSS, we cannot understand locators, okay? Locators plays a key role in Selenium test automation. So for understanding locators, we need this HTML and CSS. That's why we cover this uh, HTML and CSS before going for locators topic in Selenium, okay? While we are learning Selenium, when the topic of, before the topic of locators come, we'll uh, I'll be covering or explaining you the complete knowledge of this HTML and CSS and basic level, okay? Uh, whatever the knowledge that is required for understanding locators that I'll be covering up to that extent. Then the programming language, the last one is a programming language, guys, okay? So Selenium is like a swimming pool as I already mentioned in the previous sessions, right? Selenium is like a swimming pool, okay? Uh, in that, let's say Selenium is a pool, in that, if you don't have water, you cannot swim, right? So here, water is nothing but a programming language, guys, okay? Even though you have the knowledge of Selenium, but if you don't know how to write code, okay, in any of the programming languages like Python, Java, Ruby, JavaScript, okay, whatever the languages are supported by Selenium, right? If you don't know this, then you cannot swim, guys, okay? So programming language is very important. So whatever the knowledge of, uh, in this session, guys, okay, this session is all about uh, Selenium Python series, right? So. I'll be covering the Python before we go for Selenium. I'll be cover covering all the Python programming knowledge uh, that is required for learning Selenium. Okay. Whatever the Python programming language uh, from scratch guys. Okay. If you are new to Python, don't worry. I'll start from ABC of Python to whatever the extent Python need to be learned for Selenium automation purpose. Okay. So before we start learning Selenium at correct point of time, all these topics will be covered for you guys. You don't have to uh, worry all about these things. Okay. All the sites will be covered to you at the appropriate time while learning Selenium, okay? Whatever the proper time is there for learning HTML basics and CSS, at that time, I'll cover HTML basics and CSS basics. Whatever the time locators are to be explained to you, basic level and advanced level, I'll decide that. And uh, during the sessions in an optimized and uh, proper organized way, I'm going to cover this for you guys. So just keep following the sessions in a sequential order. The times, uh, the topics will fall in place at the appropriate times and uh, situations, okay? While learning Selenium. So hope guys, you got a high level idea, like uh, what are the different tweaks sets that are required for learning Selenium, okay? I cannot say before learning Selenium because these topics I can cover at any point of time. It may be before, middle or after, okay? During the process of learning Selenium, at any point these topics will come to you. And that too, all the basic knowledge is required because you don't have to learn in depth, okay? This web technologies, you don't have to learn in depth. So web technologies, software testing basics, very high level software testing basics, guys. Even you cannot call that as basics here. Locators. This need to be covered in depth, guys. I'm going to cover at the appropriate time. Programming language also, you know, to some extent I have to cover that uh, it's not about basics, but uh, Selenium almost requires you to learn say, Python to maximum extent. Whatever the extent I have to go, I'll go there. Okay. So fine. So these are the prereq sites that are required for learning Selenium, guys. All this will be covered in the same course. Okay in this uh, series of sessions when uh, where I am teaching you. The same series, you don't have to go here and there, guys, okay? The, for Python, don't go for another uh, another place to learn. For locators, don't go for another place to learn, okay? For web technology, don't go for another place to learn. Everything will be part of this course, okay? Or the part of this uh, video series, okay? So just keep following this series blindly in a sequential and uh, organized manner, okay? That is enough for these sessions. So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, with this, I think uh, I have uh, completed the introduction to Selenium category part of this uh, Selenium Python training series. Uh, we'll we'll choose another category topic uh, next. Okay, this part is completed. We'll come up with other thing in the upcoming session. Okay, in the next session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.